Hello everyone, I'm Rabia from R Academy and today we are going to study numbers. As we have been covering our grammar topics, so this is also included in grammar and most used and essential topic this is. What is number? Number refers to the grammatical contrast between singular and plural. Singular means one and plural, plural means more than one. These are also called the types of noun, singular and plural. Now, we know how to make plural. When we add S in the last of a word so it becomes plural but if i talk about ox oxen why we do not keep s there only why can't we call it ox oxes so the reason is there are some rules of using these singular to plural I am here to tell you all about grammar, all about everything, the knowledge I have. This is my passion and this is my hope that you are learning. Only I want that if a child is learnt through my videos, through my lectures, that is my achievement. Because I always wanna give my whole knowledge to you guys i always wanna transfer my each and every knowledge to you so let's learn those rules which make singular to plural rule number one we add s for making plural like actor actors aunt aunts Simply, we keep S and it become plural. Rule number two. If there is Y in the last of a word and there is vowel before Y, so we will add S. Simply, we will add S, but we have to focus before Y, there should be vowel like boy b o y now in the last y is existed in the word and before y the letter is o and o is vowel what we will do boy boys we will only keep s in the last of the word for making plural a story a story not the story of which is called tell no which is called case study no a story like building we can say s t o r e y this is a story so when we will make plural what we have to do is that story stories s t o r e y s have you guys got two rules? Now let's move on to the third one. When in a word Y is in the last and before Y, consonant is existed. So we will add I E S and we will remove Y. This is very interesting. If you listen carefully and you note it down, so I'm telling you very important points which should be noted and which should be used in grammar whenever you are doing writing, whenever you are telling anything to the person. So, rule number third is when there is a word ending on Y and before Y there is consonant so we will remove y and we will keep i e s for example baby babies b a b y b 
बी ए बी आई ई एस वी डू नॉट कीप ओनली एस विद वाई लाइक बेबी बी ए बी वाई एंड बेबीज बी ए बी वाई एस नो रॉन्ग डेट विल बी हंड्रेड परसेंटली रॉन्ग इफ वी कीप ओनली एस विद दी वाई बिफोर एंडिंग ऑन दी कंसोनेंट सो बेबी बेबीज स्टोरी एस टी ओ आर वाई स्टोरी स्टोरीज एस टी ओ आर आई ई एस फ्लाई फ्लाइज एफ एल आई ई एस आई होप यू आर इंजॉइंग सो लेट्स गुड एंड मूव ऑन टू द फोर्थ रूल फॉर मैक एंड पिल यूरल ऑफ सम वर्ड्स वी कीप ई एस इफ यू गाइज हैव फोकस्ड so we have seen many and more time there is es in the plural of a word like loss l o l s losses l o l s e s what we see here that we are adding es in the last and becoming it's becoming plural s a l s s is a l s e s let's move on to the third rule when there is f or f e in the last of a word so we remove f or f e and we keep v e s what i told you guys when there is f or f e in the last of a word these two letters or one letter is existed so what we do we remove this and we keep v e s we totally change the plural form like calf calves c a l f c a l v e s do you guys focus here we do not write calf calves now we do not do like this calf calf c a l f c a l f s no way what we do is that we will change f in the v e s life lives let's move on to the third not third sorry let's move on to the sixth rule that is in some words when there is f or double f so we add only s like chief chiefs we cannot change it like chiefs or blah 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 we will say chief chiefs staff staffs seventh rule is when there is o or double o in the last of a word so we add s like photo photos radio radios some words are totally changed like foot feet louse lies ox oxen datum data ninth rule for compound noun plural we keep s like textbook test books father in law father in law the last rule we are going to study is that sometime both part of compound noun words have to add s like man servant man servant means both compound noun form will be changed like men m a n men s e r v e n t servant men servant when we will make plural so what we will do men servant m e n men s e r v a n t s S-E-R-V-A-N-T-S, men servants or we can say father in law fathers in laws okay guys hope you have enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe and share my channel r academy thank you so much